I am very proud to be here and very happy to see such a full audience today. It really inspires me because it demonstrates how important the legacy of Shirley Chisholm is to so many of us, even after she has passed. So this is really very exciting and very invigorating. And one of the things that you know occurred to me as I saw you standing on the podium um, and, and even greeting my fellow elected officials here, and, uh, and I was gonna say Council Member Diana Reyna, but Deputy Borough President Diana Reyna, is that there is a very genuine love and support for one another. And I think that this is a strong trend um, that is beginning to happen, that women in government are beginning to see that the light that we have or the shine that we have is better and stronger when it's given and shared freely, when we actually recognize that supporting one another and, and assisting one another and helping each and every one of us go to the next level, it doesn't diminish your light and it doesn't diminish your fire, it just allows it to grow and expand on such a wider level. And I think for so often in government, because women were um, <coughs> such a, a vast minority that some of them relished in the opportunity of being the only one or being the first. And so it's very important that now that our numbers are, are stronger, that we continue to grow and share that light with one another. Um, in the city council, uh, a trend that has happened is that actually the number of women in city council have diminished. And in the next election cycle, there are going to be, of the 15 members that are in the city council, there will be uh, seven of those seats uh, will be term limited out. So we are in a, a very strong place right now, but we wanna make sure that that number doesn't continue to decrease, but that it actually expands. One of the things that I'm very proud of in the city council is that with our speaker, Melissa Mark Viverito, um, with our public advocate, Letitia James, with our finance chair, Jalissa Ferreras, uh, with head of contracts, uh, Helen Rosenthal, uh, myself as chair of women's issues committee, Vanessa Gibson, head of safety, and I could go on and on again, but I mentioned those particular committees because they are the most powerful committees in the city council. So while we may be small in number, we are actually the most powerful body in the city council right now. So I'm very proud of that. And I'm also very proud of the fact that the majority of commissioners that Mayor Bill de Blasio appointed are actually women. So this is a really very strong time um, for us and to continue to grow and to continue to expand.